So hi guys, still on chapter 3 mole concept and still focusing on 3.3 concentration and now we're going to focus on performing calculations on molarity. So remember when I told you about how a solute can also be a pure liquid such as Sunquick and dissolve in a solvent like water. Actually it is called a process of dilution where the solute is actually a pure liquid or a concentrated solution and the solvent is usually water and they become a diluted solution for example in this case just now i mentioned something drink so what ha what actually happened is the dilution makes the concentration or the molarity of the solution becomes lowered or decreased let's have a look at this process kita ada satu solution yang concentrated ataupun pekat okay volume dia 20 ml and then molarity dia 5.0 molar and then bila kita dilutekan dia kita kasih cair dia kita tambah 80 ml of water so jadilah volume dia sekarang 100 ml so berapakah dia punya concentration tapi yang pasti kita tahu adalah concentration yang setelah dilut ni m2 is less than m1 yang sebelum dilut tadi Actually, there is one thing that does not change after the dilution, which is the number of moles. So, that means the number of moles before the dilution, it's still equal to the number of moles after dilution. Because you just add some, you know, solvent in there. So, the amount of, the amount of solute is still the same. So, if you use the formula, N equals to M times V, molarity times volume, Okay, whereby kalau kita tengok untuk N yang before dilution, M1 darab V1. Kalau yang after dilution, N dia equals to M2 times V2. Jadi, kita bolehlah tulis di sini formula dia. M1 times V1 equals to M2 V2. Alright. So, kalau kita ganti masuk value di sini, 20 ml uh, V1, okay, 5.0 molar M1 equals to M2 kita mau cari and then V2 100 ml by the way dalam case ni kita tidak wajib tukar ya ml tu kepada liter sebab nanti dia cancel out kalau mau tukar kena tukar dua-dua kepada liter lah tapi kerja lagi lah kan ok so back to this question so jawapan final kita after using calculator it's supposed to be 1.0 molar so the molarity after dilution is equal to 1.0 molar Okay, let's try this question. How many milliliters of 14.8 molar NH3 is required to prepare a standard solution of 100 ml of 1.00 molar NH3? So, milliliters di situ dia suruh cari volume and we are given with molarity and this is the condition before dilution and we are asked to prepare a standard solution. Maksudnya kalau kita disuruh prepare standard solution Bertambahkan volume dia sana That means dia kena dilutkan So this is after dilution Dia bagi volume dan juga dia bagi molarity yang dia mau capai So kita tahu bahawa Untuk dilution N before dilution is equal to N after dilution Alright So always tulis ini formula So kita ringkaskan M1 V1 equals to M2 V2 So ganti masuk value 14.8 molar times V1 yang kita mau cari is equals to 1.00 molar times dengan 100 ml and again saya tidak tukar milliliter kepada liter because nanti kalau saya tukar jawapan saya dalam liter lah tapi in this case jawapan saya 6.757 milliliter so saya tidak tukar milliliter kepada liter alright so I hope you enjoy and if you enjoy the video don't forget to like share and subscribe